One of the great features about FastView Reporter is its ability to schedule and share reports with other people in your organization. I'm going to create a report for my development department. I'm just going to run it on the last couple of days and click run report. All right, cool. So here's my report on the development department. I can see the top site, top user, and jump to other sections to see more information such as the full sites that my department was accessing and the top users by productivity. So this is pretty cool. It'd be really good to be able to just share this with the development department's manager. I'm gonna click the share button. And notice I can copy a URL or I can share the report via email. Okay, a link to that report has been shared. Now notice this private option. I'll explain that in more detail. But first I'm going to go to my email and it says a report has been shared with you. So let's go view report. Okay, and here's my report shared privately with the department manager. You'll notice that the rest of the FastView application is no longer visible, such as the settings tab and the dashboard. It's purely the report content. Now this department manager can browse through the report and if they see anything of concern, they can also find more information by hovering over a user or a site and say running an activity report or another overview report. But notice it will always be filtered by the development department. And here are all the user sessions with YouTube. So you can see who is browsing that site, how long they were browsing it, and exactly what time they started and stopped. Now one thing about private reports is that they're always shared from this slash p folder in the Sophos Reporter website. Now, if you have a savvy user, they could just remove this part of the URL and go back to the main application. And that's obviously not something that you want to happen, but that's okay. We can set up authentication and permissions in Microsoft IIS. And I'll show you how to do that now. The first thing you want to do is go back to the computer that you installed FastView Reporter on and in Server Manager, select Tools, Computer Management. Then we're going to go to Local Users and Groups and we're gonna create a couple of groups. The first one is a group for FastView admins. And this will be anyone that you want to be an administrator on FastView Sophos Reporter. In this case, I'm gonna add my entire domain admins group. I'll click create. And now we'll create another group for just people that we want to view reports. So I'm gonna call this FastView viewers. And for now, I'm just going to add myself to this group. Great, so now we've got two groups, one called FastView Admins and one called FastView Viewers. And now we need to go into Microsoft IIS to assign the correct permissions. So let's open up IIS. On the left-hand side, you'll see the server that we're installed on, in this case, the local computer. If we expand Sites, Default Website, we'll see our Sophos Reporter website in the list. Now the first thing we want to do is configure authentication on the Sophos Reporter website. So to do that, make sure Sophos Reporter is selected and then double click on Authentication. Now IIS has a range of authentication methods, but the one we want to use is Windows authentication. Unfortunately, it's not in the list here, which means I just need to install it. And I do that using Server Manager. Just click Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next, Next, select the web server, find the web server IIS role, and then expand web server. And under the security section, click Windows authentication. Click Next, Next, and Install. All right, and once that's installed, you can hit close. Go back into IIS, and you may just have to close and reopen the management console. Now let's find the Sophos Reporter website again and go into authentication. Okay, now we have Windows authentication as an option. So let's go ahead and enable that. And we're going to also disable anonymous. Now the next thing we want to do is set authorization rules. So I'm gonna select the entire website and go to authorization rules. And you'll see there is a rule to allow all users. Now that's not what we want. So I'm gonna remove that rule. And I'm going to add a new allow rule to allow specified roles or user groups. And in this case, it's going to be my FastView admins group that I created earlier. Great. So now if I open up a FastView reporter, I'm gonna get prompted for authentication. In this case, if I enter my admin details, it lets me into the application. Okay, so I've got a user overview report here and I wanna share it with that user. So I'm gonna click share and I'm gonna make sure the private option is set and I'm gonna copy that URL and send it to them. Now when they try to access that link, they're gonna get prompted for authentication. And if they enter their authentication details, at this stage, they're still going to get denied because they don't have access to that report. So let's configure that now. Let's go back into IIS 
And to allow access to private reports, we have the slash p folder. That's where private reports get served from. So let's make sure we've got that folder selected and go into authorization rules. Now FastView admins are currently allowed into that folder, but FastView viewers are not. So let's go add allow rule and add our FastView viewers group. Now there's one more thing you need to do. JavaScript and images for the website are served out of this underscore folder here. So we also want to add permissions to the underscore folder as well, to the FastView viewers group. Okay. Now let's try accessing the URL as one of my fast view viewers. And hooray, I'm allowed in. So now we've set up permissions for fast view admins to access the website and fast view viewers to access private reports in the slash p folder. And if you have a savvy user and they try to remove the slash p from the website, they'll get prompted for authentication details again and denied. So just to summarize, Create two user groups called FastView Admins and FastView Viewers. Add the appropriate people to each group. And then in IIS, enable Windows Authentication. Again, if it's not installed, add it in Server Manager under Role Services for IIS. And then add permissions to both the FastView Admins and the FastView Viewers group for the underscore folder and the P folder. But for the rest of the site, only allow FastView Admins. And that is how you secure the FastView Reporter website. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.